I'm sure Mr. Tim Cook was very excited to get the first Apple Silicon redesigned iMacs out into the market and they may have got a little bit ahead of themselves because they were rushing to get every M1 into these Macs and out the door and into customers' hands, which we appreciate Apple when you're quick on these things, but sometimes you miss little details and that might end up blowing up in your face. Don't pull a Samsung, but it appears that a few iMacs are delivering crooked off the stand. Let's begin. You know the most ironic part of this whole story is that if Apple had decided to include the Pro Stand, which allows you to swivel the whole iMac into portrait mode and you could rotate it just a little bit, that would probably get rid of this issue entirely because the customer would be able to make sure it's perfectly level, even if their desk isn't. But for those who weren't aware, yeah, there were a few users both on YouTube and on Reddit complaining that they saw within about a millimeter of difference their iMac mounted onto the included stand stand slightly off and you guys know how much I criticize the 24 inch iMac design between the chin the white bezels and the fact that they cared so much about making it thin even though I was kind of the one person that was like I mean you can fit a whole iPad with mini LED and face ID and a battery in a 5.9 millimeter design and that is a mobile product so the idea that a desktop is now 11 millimeters thin I, is it really that impressive I mean in the age of smartphones and how small tech gets if they were we're trying to make the thinnest desktop ever I feel like they could go thinner but anyway you guys know I criticized this design and it would have been very easy for me to upload today's video and just say haha 24 inch iMac sucks no one should have bought it I told you guys so you know this is terrible but the truth is I'm actually gonna have to side with Apple just a tad bit on this one I thought there's much of a side to agree with I mean Apple didn't come forward with a statement saying no it's okay for it to be crooked and I'm also not like encouraging that companies have worse quality control. That's not what I'm saying here. But what I am trying to say is people, in my opinion, are starting to turn non-issues into issues because the truth is I had never once heard of people measuring the levelness of their iMac displays before. And the truth is on the atomic level, if you really want to get down into the nitty gritty stuff, I'm sure that every single iMac is going to have slight variation. But this is not a piece of quality control that I feel like people were measuring in the past anyway. Way. Did you guys recall a lot of people buying their 21 and a half inch IMAX or their 5k IMAX over the past few years and taking their rulers and tape measures to the edges of the device to see okay how high off the desk is this because the truth is most desks out there are not perfectly level some are some people pay attention to that type of detail but over time when you put a lot of weight in different parts of your desk the middle will start to bow a little bit or there will be all kinds of slight variations depending on where you put your desktop and what I'm trying to say is if you got a crooked iMac and you're within the return window please return it I'm not saying put up with crappy quality control and yes I do hope Apple fixes this issue I'm not advocating they not fix this issue I'm just saying if you're one of the people that bought the new 24 inch iMac you're happy with it it's working fine with you why do we need to just suddenly start getting out rulers to see if something is slightly you know one tenth of a centimeter off and try to exactly figure out if it is crooked when you're not really noticing it in day-to-day -day use anyway okay like there's a difference in my opinion when there's some type of quality control like the Bluetooth in the M1 Mac mini issues where yeah okay if the Bluetooth is going off and you can't use your keyboard and mouse with the product that's a bigger problem and I hope Apple can get on top of that either with firmware updates or if something's inherently wrong with the M1 chip they can figure out exactly what it is but tiny aesthetic details like this that are more matter-of-fact of just like hey if I get out a ruler and compare these two sides of the Mac I notice something slightly off and what I realized, just because I was curious, is that after all these years of owning my iMac Pro, I've never measured it before. And you know what I discovered? My iMac Pro is completely crooked off of its stand. Actually, it's not. I just realized that in the location I have it on my desk, my desk is not perfectly level, so that made the left side feel bigger than the right side. Once I measured my iMac again on a more level surface, that's when I noticed both sides being just about identical. But I'm sure if I zoomed in really, really close and got into the nitty-gritty, gritty, I would probably find out that one side is slightly lower than the other. But you know why I don't care about that? It's because I've been using this thing for nearly 
four years, and that has never once come up. I have never once been in a situation where I was watching my iMac display and thinking, hmm, you know what? I think it's a little bit off. I think it's leaning to the left a little bit too much. No, all these years I've been thinking that chin is just way too big and these bezels are thicker than my Apple Watch, so I would love it if they could change that someday, but we're not, we're not here to talk more about that. All I'm trying to say is there are tiny aesthetic differences that I'm sure we could investigate extremely closely, and I get that the iMac is an expensive product, but ultimately, I don't think like flawless quality control with the exact levelness of the stand is the main reason people are interested in this thing. The only time I would say it makes sense to get on Apple and to start addressing these issues is if people were just straight up noticing it without a measuring tape, without a ruler. If you were just walking up to your desk and you were like, okay, yeah, that's completely crooked. Like the thumbnails that most people are using for these quality control problems. Obviously, Apple gets very famous for any kind of gate, any kind of scandal with some kind of quality control issue. That drives a lot of clicks, but I do find it quite hilarious when most of the news sites and most of the people covering the subject are essentially photoshopping it to look way more crooked than anyone has ever experienced. And the truth is, the only people that are noticing it being crooked are the ones being very, very close and precise with their measurements and being very analytical with the rulers. And there's people complaining about it on Reddit, but I would not be shocked if there's any people out there similar to me that are just not on a completely level desk or not measuring it on a completely level surface. And I wonder how many people would notice this issue if it was not being reported on, not being brought up in the news, and they were just going about their day using their product the way it was intended. We could get into more nitty gritty stuff and find out that, hey, the Apple logo on the back is not completely center or the braided power cable has some kind of asymmetrical design, but we don't go into all those details because that's not really how they're intended to be used. And so far, I have not seen a glaringly crooked one for me to look at this as a major flaw. I mean, obviously, if there's a few degrees of the iMac being pivoted off, I do hope Apple fixes that. I hope that's not the takeaway from today's video. I'm not advocating for crappy quality control. I'm just saying there's not really a huge reason to get upset if someone has to tell you exactly what's wrong with the product if in their day-to-day -day use they can't tell that there's an issue. That's the difference between nitpicking some manufacturing thing and actually having a problem that prohibits you from using the product correctly. I'm gonna get canceled for this video too, aren't I? Oh well. Good thing I'm out of town when this video is dropping. I'll probably have to do an apology video when I get back. This is your Alpshape here. I'll see you guys in the next one.